Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Alice. Alice is a commuter aircraft that is currently under development with an introduction plan for 2022. The aircraft is completely electric powered with Israel being its national origin. The company behind the aircraft is Eviation. This is how Eviation responded when asked why electric. Just as in ground transportation, electric propulsion reduces the energy usage, maintenance costs, and environmental impact of air transit while providing a smoother, safer passenger experience. Alice is not a great airplane we managed to make electric. It's a great airplane because it's electric. The awesome features of this aircraft doesn't end there. If you thought that this aircraft might lack the luxury feel of other small aircraft, you're wrong. The aircraft looks amazing on the inside. The inside looks really futuristic and much more quiet and sleek than comparable sized and capable aircraft. Alice is made of 95% lightweight all composite material and in aviation, composite materials are usually fiber and force plastics. The fiber is Kevlar, carbon fiber or fiberglass soaked with a plastic resin. Many times the materials are laminated or stacked in layers and bonded together for additional strength. Alice is completely fly by wire, which is when computers are used to process inputs made by pilots or autopilot. And those signals are sent within the flight control system to the corresponding flight control surface. So it basically replaces the conventional manual flight controls of an aircraft with an electronic interface. Alice also has two wingtip motors, which help self-balance the yaw motion in the aircraft. Those wingtip motors also reduce induced drag, which is caused by lift. It's an aerodynamic drag force that causes airflow to be redirected when moving objects come towards it. The wing in this case redirects the air to produce lift, but the two wing motors reduces the drag. Alice also has a third motor, which is at the rear of the aircraft, called a tail motor. The tail motor is where it gets interesting because it's capable of powering the aircraft in case of a wingtip emergency. The design of the aircraft, together with the positioning of the tail motor, causes a buildup of slow moving air along the fuselage, which causes drag, but simultaneously reduces the total drag because the slow moving air is being accelerated by the engines at the back. Now we'll take a look at the specifications of this aircraft, starting with its battery, which is a lithium ion 920 kilowatt battery that weighs an impressive 7,900 and 30 pound or 3,600 kilograms. That's 56% of its maximum takeoff weight of 14,000 pounds or 6,350 kilograms. Alice has a useful load of 2,500 pounds or 1,134 kilograms. It can also carry nine passengers with an additional two crew members. It requires 3,000 feet or 914 meters of runway to take off. It has a service ceiling of 12,500 feet with a cruising altitude of 10,000 feet. It has a cruise speed of 240 knots and it has a range of 540 nautical miles with 45 minute IFR reserves. Now we'll check out the external dimension. Alice is 43.3 feet or 13.2 meters long with a wingspan of 52.9 feet or 16.12 meters and standing 13.8 feet or 4.2 meters tall. Aviation says that its mission is to build aircraft that create new market opportunities, challenging the limits of aircraft use in a scalable, sustainable, and an economically viable way. It is really good to see companies that are daring to change the way we fly. If you haven't seen my video on the Solera 500L, you should definitely check it out. They have a similar goal in mind, but it's done in a drastically different way. They went for speed, altitude, and range while still being able to bring the cost of private travel down a ton and reducing emissions. But that aircraft isn't electric in its current form, although they do eventually plan to implement electric propulsion. These aircraft are showing that aviation will be so different in the future. Difference is innovation and invention, and innovation is the key to success of anything. What are your thoughts on this aircraft? Have you ever seen or heard of this aircraft before this video? Do you think that this is the future of flight? I'd also like to know if you personally think 
that has the potential to disrupt any market it goes into. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications when I upload a new video. That's all for this video. It's been Marlon the Aviator, and I'm out.